Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. Today we're gonna to talk about the most useful tool on our farm. We hope this helps you get some ideas if you're starting out, what you may need to get starting out and some things that you may not need. So let's walk around, it's feed time. I've got the cart loaded down. Let's go check out some things, get the animals fed and talk about the most useful tools for the farm. All right, what do you think? Is Cal a tool? I think he is actually gonna be a very useful tool for us, but he is not the most important tool on the farm, although he may be when it comes to keeping predators away from our animals. So it's not Cal, but as you get growing and you get a bunch of animals, you may wanna add a livestock guardian dog. Some of you guys, I figured I'd show you these. I'm sure a lot of people are thinking, well, yeah, a tractor is the most important tool or most useful tool on the farm. But we're hoping to keep this to things that are quite affordable. Quick note, these are not our tractors. We have been very blessed. This is my uncle's tractor. Make a long story short, he used to work at a church. Church closed down. He lives in the city where you can reach across and touch your neighbors, so he couldn't keep a tractor there. Asked if we would want to keep this down here and of course we said yes so <laughs> tractor is a great tool super helpful for a lot of things we're doing around here but not something that we could probably afford so we have been blessed this other little tractor was my father-in-law's and he passed and my mother-in-law brought it up here with her so we are able to use these tractors they are amazing tools help us get things done a lot faster but we want these tools something that we use every single day and also are quite affordable and tractors for us would not be affordable but we have been blessed so thank you that we are able to use those uncle ken my mother-in-law those have been a huge blessing we've got the cart loaded up let's get out to feeding we'll talk about some more tools Alright, we'll start with our young piggies. They've got some feathers. <laughs> I did a butcher this weekend of the turkeys. I tried to get a video of that. It was way too windy. My camera kept blowing over. So unfortunately we didn't get that. Come on pigs. Get these little guys fed. Alright. There is Gordon getting real big and nice hey buddy so we got the little pigs fed i'm assuming you're maybe thinking well another great tool would be the cart yes we totally agree this also my mother-in-law let us use her golf cart and yeah it carries around all our feed and water every single day but it can also be a high expense item um, we are hoping to get a side by side here eventually um, to use and not beat up this golf cart so bad, but that's another big expense and so we're saving up and when that time comes We'll hopefully be able to purchase one of those so cart great tool But not the most important tool on the farm. Let's keep moving along There are a lot of good tools and I'm sure a lot of you've been guessing maybe a drill We use a drill a ton building our chicken tractors, chick shaws, taking doors off things, putting doors up but a drill is not the most important. What about a shovel? Um, what about a rake? We use shovels and rakes almost daily if we're cleaning out pens, trying to get pigs moved, or if they're in an area that they've been in a little longer than we like, we like to rake out the poop and giving them a clean spot. But those tools are not the most important tools on the farm. All right, guys, back here with the turkeys. Check their feed a little bit. They're on a layer pellet water looks good could use a little feed we talked about processing those turkeys they turned out very nice looks like people want to fly out now we did have one female turkey and uh we added her in this pen they have been laying well i shouldn't say they have been laying we got one egg the other day and turkeys are not like chickens and uh the ducks they are kind of like a seasonal layer they'll stop laying and then start up again in the spring we've got one turkey on the other side of the fence there she'll figure out how to get in 
but we did add the one hen over here and process the other four toms like i said tried to do a video but it was so windy it had ripped the tarp off the turkey shelter that was one reason we decided let's just go ahead and process them so we'll try to get a video next time we process the turkeys but very similar to how you process the chickens so anyway another tool well, how about a pitchfork we use a pitchfork quite often super easy to clean out the old hay get new hay in there spread around but it is definitely not a pitchfork as the most useful tool on the farm we're heading back here to the boars we are down one boar let's check and see who it is all right can you guys tell if you've been following a long time you know who it is it's gary gary went to a new farm we we're excited to meet some friends that follow us along on youtube and their little granddaughter josie hey josie if you're watching hope you're enjoying gary a lot of people ask well why do you get rid of pigs that are breeders well it's because we have so many pigs um feed cost is going up and we are trying to downsize just a little bit so gary was one that we didn't have for very long we liked gary we've got gary bred to two sows so we'll see how he produces but there comes a point where you just need to downsize a little bit so anyway we're down to just shiloh Ryder, walter and henry so a lot of people have been asking i might as well tell you about this too um kevin and mo if you guys remember we had kevin and mo in breeding pen pens um earlier in the winter um they hurt their legs i'm not sure how um they never really healed up so they're in a pen together right now and we are going to have them processed and it really stinks um we had people asking where's kevin how the boar's been well that's what's happening so this week we're going to actually be taking them to the processor a lot of people will ask about boar taint have you ever had boar taint we did process one boar a while back that was intact we had no issues with that i guess there's always a risk that you run but they're in a pen together and they're away from the females so we're hoping for the best we don't want to waste the pig and just get rid of them so we're going to get them processed and uh hopefully we'll have some good results probably show that video to show you guys what we got back but these are the four boars that are back here in the pen we're downsizing our boars just a little bit let's get these guys fed talk some more about tools walking up here to feed our ducks let's think about another tool what about a wheelbarrow we use a wheelbarrow an awful lot it sure makes things helpful moving things to the compost pile cleaning out pens inside the barn where we can't get a tractor but the wheelbarrow is not the most important tool on the homestead have you guys thought about it yet do you know what we're getting at All right, guys, if you've come up with some tools that you use every day on your homestead or farm or something that you think is the most important tool, well, here's another one. It's so important. We keep it in our cart. It is a fence tester. We like to know, especially this time of year, are our fences hitting hot? So we're at 6,000. So a fence tester, it's a great tool to have but it's not the most important quick story we had a big old pig cupcake she used to be in the front of our yard and uh we had so many fences going on that we uh took the charger off their fence and they're smart they realize it well she starts itching up against the post because it feels good and it's getting the right spot and i'm watching this from the porch and she falls over the fence out of the pen decides to get up and walk right back into the fence so fence charger is important for us to know but our pigs are not very 
not really looking to escape and run away. So we're thankful for that. But when we have hundreds of feet of fence, we don't get a lot of sun in the winter. I wanna make sure those fences are still hot to keep predators and other things out. And also it helps keep our pigs in. So fence tester, important tool, but not the most important. Okay, the girls are fed and happy. Being in here in the girl pen makes me realize we've got some feet trimming to do. So how about that tool? A good pair of hoof trimmers for your animals. If you got goats, if you got pigs, you may need to trim their hooves. So that is important. Obviously, it's not something we use every day, but when it's time, I love white hooves. You can see where it needs to be trimmed. When it's time, a good pair of hoof trimmers are a nice thing to have. Important, like I said, if you got pigs or goats, anything that needs a hoof trimming, that's a good tool to have, but definitely not the most important. All right, guys, we just finished feeding the uh, bacon bits, the uh, tweeners, younger pigs, and uh, they are happy and calm down. They do love to see that cart come up, bringing them food. Here they are going through. Here's a tip. Don't ever worry about trying to uh, make your pigs stay at a bowl. It is like musical bowls every time they are eating and feeding. They'll never stay at one. They just move all over. Sometimes if you're worried about a younger pig getting extra feed or enough feed, make sure you just put an extra bowl or two in your pen. So have you guys figured it out? Most important tool on the farm. I think you might have. I'm holding it in my hand. It is a bucket. Any bucket, five gallon, two and a half gallon, it does not matter the size of the bucket. Jamie and I were talking about this and we can't imagine a tool that is more helpful for us in the way that we are farming. We carry feed in the buckets. We carry water in the buckets. We collect eggs in the buckets. When we're butchering, we use the buckets to hold the guts and the offal and all the waste products, feathers. Um, also, they can be feeders. You've seen our chicken feeders. I know people make waterers out of the buckets. There's just so many uses. I know the carts, the tractors, the rakes, the shovels, all that stuff is very helpful and beneficial on the farm. But one thing that we use every single day, without a doubt, more than once a day, our buckets so maybe you guys guessed it maybe you didn't but that is our number one most helpful tool on our farm and we have plenty of buckets so if you're starting out you're trying to think and get prepared what do you need for your farm get as many buckets as you can because the ones with the plastic handles break they get old they crack they get worn out and we always need a good bucket and the best part about the most helpful tool on the farm. It's also probably the cheapest. Um, what's up with Rural King, by the way? You got five gallon buckets all over the store, but our Rural King never has a lid. So maybe the lid is the most important. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, it's kind of goofy, but it is actually serious. Jamie and I sat down and that was the most important thing on our farm, getting the feed to the animals, the water to the animals. We need buckets. We could do without a cart, it would be horrible to carry those all over the place, but it could be possible. So there's a lot of things that are helpful, make your job easier on the farm. Our number one tool for our farm is a bucket. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Don't forget to make the change and we'll see you on the next video.